<laughs> All right, hey everybody, let me just get this set up real quick here. Okay, welcome to Changing Vegas live stream. I'm Dave, CEO of Changing Vegas, and uh, today we are going to go full on game creation mode. I came up with this idea for a new collectible card game uh, about a week ago, and it's been all I can think about. And to turn this game into a board game, um, a uh, freemium game like Hearthstone or whatever, uh, I think it's a very good starting point for our company. Okay, so here's our checklist. These are all the things that we need to do before we launch the game. Why your hair be like that? Um, because I'm going bald. <laughs> See, check it out. Look at that. I keep it short. I, I mean, I keep it long because I'm trying to enjoy it while I can. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just not going to worry about it. Zero killer status. <laughs> All right. So um, I, 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 I'm just going to move on. You, you, you can keep commenting if you want, but whatever. Uh, we're, we're making some video games. So Asteroid Arena. Basically, uh, the idea is... It's a collectible card game, and it's kind of like an arena-style game, kind of like uh, Hearthstone Arena or this auto chess where you load in, and it's random, and you pick your guy, and then they give you like a corresponding deck, like a strategy deck. The stage is set like this, so there's this asteroid like hurtling through space, right? And uh, there's this super mineral on it, this really valuable material. I don't really know what it is we'll call them hyper crystals you know the the name subject to change but basically all these aliens found out that there's this um asteroid with all of this mineral on it and all the aliens are going to land on the asteroid and all try to get it as quick as they can it's like a free-for-all right like a war zone uh all the different aliens um it makes it so that the game's different every time and it's strategy and you have to adapt and know your decks well and that kind of thing. There's three design concepts that I want to hit. Flavor, super important, number one, important. Um, and then the gameplay, obviously, is number two. And then how easy it is to understand, like the entrance barrier. Those are my three concerns. I think I can get this game done in about a month. So I just want to see, I wanted to chronicle um, this whole thing and show people how easy it is to develop the game, what you need to do, and how to take an idea even during lockdown and make it into a reality. So that's kind of my motivation for live streaming this thing. So um, basically, we've got to design uh, the rule book first, like the actual rules. You know, that's pretty important. You got to have a foundation for your game, right? And so uh, we're going to go through the rule book first. I have most of it done already, so that should be pretty quick. Um, and then we get into the fun part. We're going to start developing uh, the different alien uh, factions and uh, talk about you know, how each of them are going to win and design the cards. So that's the fun part. All right, so let's pull up the rule book here. That's the first thing I want to find out is what's the whole point of this game, right? How do you win? Okay. I, I like it when there's flavor in the instructions, so they're fun to read. So I'm going to, you know, get the first draft here and try not to overthink this because I want to get designing cards. That's the fun part. Your victory objective while defending yourself against other aliens on the asteroid. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Okay, hypercrystals, here we go. These are the resources of the game, and this is very important for CCGs in terms of um, how the game works. For CCGs, there's two common ways to do it. There's uh, mana, like Magic the Gathering, or the old World of Warcraft trading card game before Hearthstone came out, where you actually play your quests, you play your mana, and it's like part of your deck. Um, I don't really like that because uh, there's too much variance. Like sometimes you just get stuck because you can't play anything 
And I think the more modern games like uh, Hearthstone and Legends of Runeterra, where they automatically give you crystals every round, that um, I think those are better because then you just fill your deck with stuff and you don't have to worry about drawing your resources. I think that um, that's one thing of modern game design that I really like. So um, I, th I think I'm going to go with that. I think just one per turn. Right now, I'm just thinking about uh, how to best explain this. Um, I'm doing this as a board game and not a uh, online game yet. So um, because it's easier to get the prototype, it's really expensive to do a prototype for a video game, but it's very inexpensive to do a prototype for a board game. So I'm writing these rules as a board game. So the way I'm thinking of it right now is that I don't know whether the crystals are cards or whether they're actually crystals. But basically, at the start of everyone's, at the start of your turn, um, you mine a crystal. So you reach into the pile, you take a crystal, and you put it in your bank. So the bank is like your storage area, and these crystals are going to be used to um, play your cards and play abilities and stuff. So, um, like I said, this is the foundation of the game. So. Um, the standard resource gain is like one per turn. You're mining, right? But um, some of these aliens have like mining robots and abilities that let you uh, speed up your resource acquisition. So, um, but this, I'm just setting the standard of one per turn. Okay, here we go. So here we're explaining um, all the different card types. I'm, I'm just gonna use uh, Magic the Gathering as a uh, basis because that's what I grew up playing as a kid. This is like the core of the game. Uh, basically, you've got all these different card types. You've got the aliens, which are going to fight with each other. You got the actions; those are like your spell cards, right? Um, the events are um, like random uh, things that affect the board, like planetary events, basically, because the asteroid's like hurtling through space, right? So these event cards are going to pop up when the asteroid like whizzes past a black hole, or there's a sun flare, or whatever uh the equipment that's those are like uh creature enchantments or uh equipment cards that you can put on your aliens to make them stronger uh structures um some of these aliens are going to be like mechanical in nature or they're you're going to set up like a military base or whatever and then the breakthrough cards um those represent like uninteractable effects like um for instance, Legends of Rotera just land just added the um, landscape cards in there. Uh, it's kind of like that. It's like a passive effect that's uninteractable. Those are the different cards I have so far. Um, that's already a lot of cards, so I don't really want to add more. I could add more um, as an as an expansion comes out or something, but in the base game, I just want to keep it uh, pretty simple. For for, for the abilities, okay, so I, I don't want to add too many abilities. That's one problem with um, Magic the Gathering is that, oh, hey, hey, Surf Song, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? Good to see you again. I already got told that my haircut looked like a serial killer, so that was nice. Good way to, good way to start the day. <laughs> right now, I'm just going through the abilities, Surf Song. Yeah, 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 it is cool. I, I know that uh, it's just a bunch of text uh, right now, so it may not be as fun to watch as video games, but like if people are into uh, creating and uh, want to weigh in and develop the game, you know, and see how you develop the games and that kind of thing, uh, we're going to try to get a series together like that. And there, there is an ability that I thought about the other day. These are all my ideas that I have for the aliens and this one here, the uh, mining corporation. I think that I'm I'm trying to decide. I I want this ability to be called um, defend. Yeah, yeah, defend. So the idea that I have for the mining corporation is that they make their mining robots to like mine the materials faster, and then um, they put up bunkers and soldiers and stuff to like defend. The robots for being attacked so um that's the idea that i had for that 
our structure with defend. So um, this is the basic like defense mechanic. Um, it's similar to like taunt on uh, Hearthstone, but it's not mandatory. So you can choose whether or not to intercept. So it's like a combination of Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering, basically. Okay, so um, long range, that's basically like you can't be attacked again. Armor, that's reduced damage and defend. Okay, and then um, mine. So mine is where you get additional crystals from the middle, from in the middle of the board. Okay, use energy from the crystals, take action, mining the asteroid. When you mine the asteroid, you take one hypercrystal from the asteroid core and add it to your bank. Okay, all right. God, what did I call it? These terms, I got to write down these terms. It's important to be consistent. Asteroid core. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, mine long range, armor, defend. Okay, for, for now, I think that's enough shared abilities because the whole idea is I don't want to have like a bunch of abilities that you have to remember um, because it's just annoying and it's not very good for new players coming in. So uh, the way I have it set up is that the shared abilities, I only want like four, five or six of these max. It'd be better if it was less. And the unique abilities, okay, those are uh, unique to each um, alien deck. So there's a whole bunch of abilities. In order to play the game properly, you're going to have to know um, all of the abilities and how they work. But uh, for new players, you're only going to have to know the abilities on your aliens. You don't even necessarily have to know uh, what the other people's cards do. So you can at least pick up and play and have it be somewhat simple because I want to be simple to pick up, but um, complicated to master. So I think this idea of like shared abilities and unique abilities is a very good way to um, do it. Details on these abilities. Okay, so combat, here we go. Because the combat's really important. Even subtle differences are different because you have to decide, okay, does damage heal every round? Uh, do you keep track of stuff? Do uh, Can you attack individually or do you attack the player and the player organizes? I mean, um, there is, you know, is there ability that allows, allows you to attack? creatures directly um you know these are all decisions that this is like the foundation of the game like since it's a four player game it's kind of confusing because ideally you don't want to keep track of how much damage is on there because as a board game you have to use like damage counters or something which is really annoying but on you could just program it into the um online game so I'm kind of on the fence about this. I'm thinking that it just heals. <laughs> it, that just seems like the easiest way to do it. It just like heals uh, at the start of your turn or whatever. And, and you just make it so that these aliens die pretty easily so that you don't have to keep track of how much damage is on each thing. All right, so combat damage is healed. Damage on structures does not heal, but can be repaired. Okay, because like the whole idea is I don't want all these damage counters flying around and all these aliens. That's really annoying as a player to keep track of. So I want the aliens to be at full strength, basically, so you don't have to worry about it. But... Um, as far as the structures, it would it wouldn't make sense for the structures to heal themselves, right? Unless you know you made like a Zerg kind of thing, like a biological structure. So um, I want to add this ability repair. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. I I I think that maybe like you exhaust your crystals for each damage on it or something. Um, that that'd be a good way to do it. There's from attacks by paying its repair cost. 